Hi, my name is Sarah and welcome to my channel. So today I just wanted to talk about the books that I want to read by the end of the year. I had meant to do this a little bit sooner, but I didn't. And I don't think I even read any of the books that I had on my list, so it's fine that I'm doing it now because it's the same list. <laughs> so let's get into it. The first one I want to start off with that I don't want to forget is The Heart of the Sun Warrior, which is the sequel to The Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. That comes out in November and I'm definitely excited to read it. I also love the cover, <laughs> but I'm very excited to see where that story goes because the first book kind of left off semi-resolved, so I'm curious to see where uh, it goes in the second book. Speaking of new releases, I want to get to The Lost Metal by Brandon Sanderson when it comes out. Uh, but first I do need to reread Shadows of Self and The Bands of Mourning. I just finished Ally of Law, so this month I'll be reading Shadows of Self and next month I will be doing Bands of Mourning. Um, I really didn't remember anything that happened in the Alloy of Law, so I'm glad I reread it and I'm glad I'm going to be rereading these too because I legitimately can't remember a single thing that happened in Shadows of Self and I just have like vague memories of uh, Bands of Mourning just because I think they're, they were in a diff different location at some point in that book and I remember that, but that's it. So definitely going to be good to reread these. Speaking of series that have books coming out still, um, I want to catch up on and complete Scum Villain's Self-Saving System. So I have volume two and volume three to read. And then I believe volume four, which is the final volume of this series, comes out in November. So I would like to catch up before then and then finish the series. And then another MXTX series that I want to catch up on is Heaven Official's Blessing. I have read the first two volumes. I have volume three to read. Volume four comes out this month, I think. Have you seen the cover? <laughs> I'm crying, screaming, throwing up. <laughs> it's so much. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be another volume coming out this year, but definitely want to get to the ones that are coming out. It was my original plan to pretty much read the books as they came out, but of course I got behind, so I'm gonna try to catch up on that. For some other series that I want to finish this year, one of them would be The Books of Babel by Josiah Bancroft. I have The Hard King, which is the third book, and then there is the last book, which is The Fall of Babel, I believe. So. I want to get to those. I did start this series I think like almost a year ago so I would like to finally just read them. <laughs> um, though this one is pretty chunky. Though I think it looks chunkier than it is. It's not even 600 pages so still a little bit long for me but it'll be good. Another series I want to finish that I don't own any of the sequels to would be the Mirror Visitor series. This is the first book, A Winter's Promise, and then there are three more books after this that I, every time I go to the bookstore they have the third and fourth but they don't have the second and I'm like it's like it wasn't a big priority for me so I just hadn't been I was like you know I'll just wait until I see it at the bookstore but they don't ever have it. I've checked other bookstores too and they always have one, three, and four and it's like why don't you ever have the second one? So I need to pick up the second one. <laughs> so I can read it and hopefully finish the series by the end of the year. A final series I want to finish by the end of the year would be the Wilderwood um, duology by Hannah Witten. This is the second book for the throne. I started it and I just wasn't feeling it at the time so I definitely want to finish it. Um, I didn't get very far in it so I would have to restart it but definitely one that I want to get to. Um, duologies are becoming a favorite thing of mine because there's just two books if you've read one you're already halfway there. It just feels so much more achievable than a tr trilogy or a longer series. Next up is a series I want to start by the end of the year um, and I've had this book since last October and I don't know if you know me I don't tend to keep books on my TBR that long like well except for recently. I would say before this year pretty much 
I would definitely try to get to the books on my TBR pretty quickly, like within a few months of getting them. So for me having this book a whole year, like that hasn't happened since I started reading uh, again after college. So I would really just like to try this book, see if I like it and just get it out of the way kind of, because um, I don't even remember why I originally bought it. But that would be A Queen in Hiding by Sarah Kozolov. This is the first book in a trilogy. No, the first book in a four book series. So if I like it, then I have three other books. But if I don't like it, then it's just not hanging over my head anymore. Another book that I've had for quite a while that I want to get to is The Red Palace by June Herr. I was super excited to read this book. Like it was one of my most anticipated releases of the year, but I think it came out in February. Um, or was it January? It came out in January or February, but I got this edition from Fae Crate and it didn't get here until May, I think. So for me to just be sitting here waiting for it, it kind of uh, lessened my excitement, which actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I also got The Son of the Storm from Fae Crate and the same thing happened. I was super excited for it and it took forever to get here and it just made me not excited to read it anymore. So lesson learned, don't order from Fae Crate anymore. Um, but yeah, I still really do want to get to this. It's really short, so it shouldn't take me too long to read, but I just need to find that excitement again for it. Another book that has been on my Goodreads want to read for a really, really long time, but I only recently purchased it, would be Spinning Silver by no Naomi Novik. I think this is like, I, this came out in 2018. Yes, this came out in 2018 and it has been on my want to read since then. And every single time I go through my want to read and like pick books that I'm wanting to buy, I just always skip past this one and I don't know why, but I saw it on sale for like $7 for the hardcover. So I was like, it's fate. That's why I never bought it until now. <laughs> so I would like to get to it. It does make me a little bit nervous because I did not like Uprooted by Naomi Novik and I also didn't like the, um, what is that series called? The Scholomance one. I DNF'd it halfway through the second book. So third time's the charm hopefully with Naomi Novik. And then for a new release that I'm so excited for, that would be A Taste of Golden Iron by Alexander Rowland finally a video where I'm talking about this book and I have it in my hands. So excited to read it. I'm just so excited. Um, I actually kind of forgot that I ordered the regular hardcover because I also ordered the gorgeous edition from The Broken Binding, which I don't know when that's going to ship. So at least now I have this one so I can read it ASAP. Though I don't know how fast I'll read it, but I am so excited. I really hope it's as good as I'm hoping it will be <laughs> um, because I feel like I've been hyping this book up so much just based on like the concept and the description so I hope it lives up. Okay and then my final category is adult fairy loot books. So when I joined the adult fairy loot subscription in March I was super excited because I was just like I was getting major FOMO from these beautiful editions that they were releasing so I was like I have to sign up for the adult one and we I've gotten at this point as of filming I have gotten five books from them and I have read one so I would like to do better um in an ideal world I would be reading the book the month that they send it or like the month after I guess but that hasn't happened yet. So the books I still have to read from Fairy Loot are The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. I know that they are doing a pre-order for the second one. And if I like this book, I definitely want the second one in the same edition, but I haven't read it yet. So I might make this one a priority because if I don't like it, then I won't waste my money on the, new, the, on the second one, but I don't know. That's also a little bit of a complaint I have with the books that um, Fairyloot is choosing for the adult box. I wish they would do more standalones rather than series. Like if I, have, if I have a pretty edition of the first book, I don't want to 
not have that for the next books. Anyway, the next book is The City of Dusk by Tara Sim. This one, I think I talked about it in my recent unhaul video. I got 50 pages into this and wasn't feeling it, so I would like to give it a try again. Maybe once you get more into like October, November, it kind of fits that mood a little bit more. I might be ready to read this, but we'll see. Next up is Her Majesty's Royal Coven by Juno Dawson. This was one, not one that was on my radar at all. Wow, okay, the font is very big in this. <laughs> um, this one wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to this book at all. Like I had seen the other, the uh, US cover and I was like, that just doesn't seem like a book for me, but now I own it. So I think I'm gonna be reading this in October with a friend of mine. So hopefully I like it. <laughs> But I think it is urban fantasy, which it, urban fantasy really doesn't work for me. Speaking of books on my right that weren't on my radar, the next book I have from Fairy Loot is *The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy* by Megan Bannon. Um, nothing about this cover, nothing about the sides, really calls to me at all. Um, even hearing the description of it it is about I was like I don't really think that I would like that and even the special edition has these like little polaroids and I was like those really turned me off from the story but then I saw this and I was like okay I'll read it <laughs> so I really don't know what I'm gonna think of this book I really hope I like it but I don't know so this also seems to fit like an October creepy spooky kind of vibe just because of all like the skeletons and they work with dead bodies I think. And of course I would obviously like to get to the August and September books for Fairy Lou, which spoiler if you don't want to hear what they are I'm going to say what they are. Um, the August one is obviously Babel by R.F. Kuang, and then September is going to be Spells for, Spells for Forgetting by Adrian Young, which is another one that just like was not on my radar at all, and I don't know. We'll see. I think that one also is like an urban fantasy, or at least low fantasy, like set in our world, I think. They seem to be doing lots of like witchy books, like... Her Majesty's Royal Coven seems pretty witchy. This one is maybe not witchy, but it kind of has that same feeling. City of Dust kind of has that feeling. Book of Night had that feeling. That's just not the like subgenre of fantasy that I like. <sighs> I'm gonna stop that there because this is gonna turn into another fairy loot rant. And like, I swear if I didn't like fairy loot, I would stop subscribing, but <laughs> I don't need to be ranting about them as much as I do. So that's like, 25 books I think that I listed ish which we have some of September October November and December left and I read an average of 10 books a month so that's like 35 books that I would read by the end of the year that's like only 10 other books besides these which probably won't actually get to all of these but definitely they're my priority but after making a big TBR in August, I'm really like not into planning what I'm reading. So hopefully I won't want to mood read these books, but we'll see. I definitely end up having a better time reading when I read based, like, when I read what I want, not what I think I should be reading. But what books are you planning to read by the end of the year? And are any of these also on your list? I would love to know. But that is it from me today and I'll see you all next time. Bye.